HCARD really is a community that we've built where we've brought people together who are all passionate about trying to make the health of people with developmental disabilities as good as it can be. Hi, I'm Andrew. I'm a postdoctoral fellow at Women's College Research Institute. Yeah, I'm one of the emergency physicians here at Sunnybrook. I'm the patient care manager. I'm an assistant professor at the University of Ontario Institute of Technology. I'm the clinical educator. I'm the director of research evaluation and education. Family doctor. An occupational therapist. Service navigator. An RN. So at the heart of the work that we do are the people with developmental disabilities and their families. They are not as healthy as everybody else. They have a harder time accessing health care. And our health care system, and even the research that we've done in health, uh, has tended to ignore them and their needs. We know lots of things anecdotally, as I said, the, that we, we are given stories over and over about problems in the system. And we don't know how representative those stories are. And that becomes particularly problematic, again, for a population of 66,000 in an overall population of over 12 million, it's the needle in the haystack. I think we talk a lot now about patients first, listening to the voices of patients, but this is one group of individuals who have not been at the table. If they don't actually discuss what about health with disability, like with actual people with disability, how will they know how to take care of us and the needs we need to stay healthy. The first step is figuring out what the problem is and how you can fix it. What's exciting about HCARD is the different ways that we answer questions. So sometimes we take like a really big lens and we study what's going on with the whole population. And then sometimes we get really into the little details. It's about unifying a number of projects into a stronger program. And I think it's when you put all those pieces together from all the different projects, the big picture, the little picture, and then you come up with really exciting solutions no one would have thought of otherwise. I'm the father of a uh, wonderful young lady who is now 26 years old but has suffers uh, with significant mental illness issues as well as developmental delay. So we say, this is what we found, this is how we got to these answers, this is the process we took, what do you guys think, um, what are some questions you have about it, and then we use that to then drive our next steps. It's about transforming that knowledge into uh, solutions, potential so solutions, and trying to see how we can improve the care, because just knowing it's not good enough. And even just if one small tweak in the system, in the policies, in the attitudes, of someone who makes a difference. If that can change a lot, that's really awesome. And it's the kind of thing we can only do if we're all working together. I wanted to do this project to show doctors and nurses how to act, talk or act around people like me. And my advice to all of you doctors and nurses, let's create a world where everyone belongs.